stars, we are very much living in a Kate Middleton wait and see hamster wheel world. There's a lot of articles that say nothing, that reveal no constructive facts, but point to all different events and all different things. But the one question that we want to know, where is she? When are we going to see her? When is she coming back? In the midst of all this, more theories. One theory says, I think what's happening here with the Kate mystery is that the royal family are working on a very long-term plan. I can imagine that they've mapped out a timeline, say going over five years. Year one, Kate is missing. Year two, Kate unfortunately goes on to glory. William is portrayed as broken and lonely, supported by longtime friend Rose Hanbury. Year three, quiet period. William goes underground for a while, Andrew style. Year four, Rose and William relationship announced. Year five, new king and queen throned. It's just a clumsy example, but the point is that the royal family will resort to a long-term plan like this to achieve their goals. William probably feels hot under the collar right now, but he's expecting that and knows it will pass. It's one of the many phases we'll all be taken through over the years that the royal family are relying upon to manipulate us. Years down the line, he's expecting we all will have forgotten the Kate mystery, Theories like this will have been scrubbed from the internet and the public will have swallowed the illness narrative. The ones who didn't are just tin foil hat conspiracy theorists. I suspect the royal family have operated like this from the word go. They've always been psychopathic. Look at Henry VIII, Bloody Mary, etc. They are lunatics as well as that the royal family are divorced from reality and cushioned from any personal impact or public reaction. It's all a game, like the chess pieces in Harry's book. They're living in a giant world of make-believe. They're not responsible for their actions. They have staff and methods to hide their crimes and therefore can and do get away with anything. There are sticky moments, yes, but it's worth it for the main prize, for the continuation, for the conservation, the conservative Tory line that the royal family, their rights and privileges must continue. They meticulously scheme their way through this world by planning over time, long-term gaslighting, and all of the more disturbing elements are wallpapered by the more benign elements that we've learned to appreciate. The routine appearances, the waves, the fashion, the events, the dinners, it all seems so formal, pomp, and circumstance. But again, at the heart of it all was the getting of it all. They didn't go around the world accumulating wealth, let's be kind, by blowing kisses. And the same tactics they used in India, Malaysia, Belize, South Africa, all throughout Africa are the same ones that I don't think they're shy about using right there on the tiny island if somebody doesn't want to behave and fall in line. Maybe that's what we're seeing. The next five years will tell us. Let me know what you think.